Hello, welcome to Figure Form 45. Thank you for your time checking my video. Today, we will be reviewing the Mayfax Store comic version. This is everything inside the box. Now let's check the sculpt and details. So far, I don't see any problem in the painting. Sorry about this. Should I move the plastic? Yeah, I think I'm lucky with this copy. So far, I don't see any issues in the paint and the sculpt and mold. Alternate angry head. Closed fist. Wide open hands. Grabbing hands. Semi open hands. Flying hands. Hammer holding hands. One hammer. Yeah, mine's have a little mold problem there. Anyway, I think I've, I've seen better hammers with Marble Legends. I think this is too plain. I mean, I, I saw more... Uh, I'm not sure if that's intentional or if it's a product or, or if it's a quality issue. See? Considering that this is his signature weapon, I hope it had better mode. So as I say, I don't one problem, two problem. Not sure those are intentional, but yeah, they, they don't look good. I've seen hammer of marble like from Marble Legends that are better than this. Uh, I'm not sure which version of Marble Legend 4 was that that even has you know the the coat written here about his power yeah so hammer not so great to make him hold this hammer you can remove this and then this hammer holding hand oh that's that's kind of tight That's like, wait. That's like scary tight. Can you hear that sound? Yeah, it's scary tight, man. I don't think I'm removing this here. 
So that's how he holds it. Now, I don't think I'm removing that ever because if you heard when I was as I was putting it, it was too tight. Anyway, he has this alternate hands where in the the hammers already automatically held and then he has this during flight both left and right So I'm thinking all you have to do, I'm keeping that there. I know I keep saying that, but again, I, I guess that's my OCD starting to kick in. You can just remove that and then put it there. That's up. Something's wrong. There, so I guess it worked. I was under the impression it was too loose. Sorry, um, considering that this is Thor and the hammer is his main weapon, or uh, what do you call it? Mior, Mjolnir. I'm very under underwhelmed with this design. Maybe this because it is the classic design, so it's simplistic, but really underwhelming then he has this maybe when he's flying around okay there's a specific sh shape in the hole there so when he has flight you can do that You're staying there. Okay, let's put it back. And when it's not holding his hammer, I can just remove this, all of this, and then just put the close piece or any other hammer, any other alternate hand he has. Yeah, I don't need this. Let's put the close fist. And then there's this. With this, let me just stay the car. I guess this is something when, when he puts it in his belt, but here's something else, it's small. Okay, so I must admit that Thor is not really my favorite char Marvel character, so I'm not really that familiar with his classic or even the MCU version. So does this hammer really shrink when he puts it on his belt, when he's not holding it? If anyone can answer in the comment, because uh, it's, yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of, I don't know, I, I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm not really sure, maybe it's, his hammer shrinks when he's not using it or if there's anyone who's aware with, with who is a Thor uh, fan there who is more familiar with me can you please comment if this hammer really shrinks when he's not using it now 
Tandy Mapex collector knows that one of the, my problem with Mapex is that he does not provide any instruction on how to use the accessories. So looking at his belt, I don't really see anything in here wherein I can put that. So I'm thinking we just put it like that, which to be honest, doesn't look good. So if I'm doing something wrong here, please comment. Is it really there or yeah, I'm not, I'm not putting it there. It's, yeah, not sure you're really sure if this is really just something you just look there. But looking at the figure, there's really nothing there that you can put it in. Yeah. Now I'll be honest, this is one of the things that really uh, piqued my interest with the promo pictures. Yeah, one. So I'm seeing here that he's holding it and it's brown. Is that brown or is that just a hole? Okay, now taking a closer look I think there's it's just a hole so I thought it was brown and I was wondering why this is clear but I guess that's just a hole so I'm thinking it's like this I'm just gonna use the left because remember uh, the on the right hand I put this and I don't want to remove this anymore this is too tight so I'm just gonna put it on the left to test it let me just remove this for a while yeah that's tight but I have no problem with this straight since it is colorless but in this one while I'm putting it in I'm wondering if, you know I'm scared of scratching the thing Sorry, this is coming in. Okay. So there it is. It's too heavy. I guess that's why there's this stand to put it on. So you're probably. Yeah, told you it's too heavy with this tan so I'm thinking you can put I think the stand is needed because as you can see this just fell out the joint of the hand is not tight enough to keep him holding this this is a really heavy accessory And of course, I'm going to put it back again because I want it, but yeah. Sorry guys, but I'm kind of a little, uh, a little underwhelmed with this figure because please, please note that I'm not really a Thor fan. But when I saw, actually I did not even pre-order this immediately. But when I saw this promo picture, it kind of picked my interest. But now that I'm reviewing it, um, little by little, to be honest, I'm, little, I'm getting a little underwhelmed as compared to the other figures that was released last month. Okay. 
Well, I think that's all the accessories. Um, now let's go to articulation. So for his head, uh, he has a he has a neck joint and a joint in the head, but because of the nature of his hair, articulation is limited. So it gets limited when he looks up. It gets limited when he looks down, side to side. This practically non-existent because of the well because of the design of the head so head articulation is pretty limited considering that he has both a neck joint and a joint there so maybe it's just tight but meh. either way the mold of the head limits the articulation now for the hand articulation, you can do the T-pose. That's actually a pretty nice additional detail. You can do the T-pose, then you can spin around. Then do that. And do that. Then you can do that. Very typical. Yeah. Torso. Waist. So you can look on the side. You can look on the other side. You can look up like that. You can look down like that. Does it have a drop down? Yeah, it has a drop down, so we can kick that far. We can kick back that far. Yeah, that, that limits it. Then double jointed knee. Toe. Up down. Oh, sorry, it's a little tight. Okay. And then, since this is a very expensive figure, I'm a little careful as compared to when I'm reviewing other brands of figures. The inside, you can do that. So, typical articulation, but I think it's okay for Thor. Now, for some size comparison, here he is with Mafex Classic Iron Man. Here he is with Mapex Steel. Now this figure rocks. And I was under the impression that this, this Thor should have been at least this big. Please comment if I'm wrong, but I was under the impression that Thor is a big dude. So I was kind of hoping that he is the same size as Steel. Now, for some Marvel Legends comparison, here is with Ultimate Captain America, which if you will look actually in the shoulder, the Ultimate Captain America is a little taller. Headwise, they're almost the same, but nah. Thor seems a little bit smaller than the Ultimate Captain America. So, that's something you should consider if you want to mix with this with the Marble Legends. Here he is with Extremist Iron Man. And again, this Iron Man, Marble Legends, is a little taller than this Thor. Now, now here he is with uh, renew your bows to spider-man almost the same size let's check them back to back yeah same size yep basically the same size 
And again, please comment. I'm not sure, but I'm under the impression that car should be a little bigger. Like this steel figure. Overall, this figure has, well, paint wise, sculpt wise, I have no problem with it, but to be honest, I found this figure a little, a little underwhelming. Maybe because, I don't know, maybe because I had high hopes for it when I saw the promotion, this promotional picture. I think the figure is a little too small for Thor. As you can see, if you would mix, especially if you would mix it with your Marvel Legends, it's basically almost the same size or a little bit shorter than Captain America, Spider-Man, and Iron Man, which I think is wrong because, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment, but that's just my impression of Thor. He should be a little bigger, like steel. So... Again, maybe it's just because my expectation for this figure is too high. The uh, I, I was under the impression that this will be the perfect Thor. Like, he will be the definitive Thor figure in my shelf collect, in my shelf display. But right now, to be honest, I'm think, I, I think I enjoyed more when I saw that, again, I forgot what Thor figure that was. The one with we were in this we all uh, the hammer have the have a have the uh, have a design wherein the coat was a sketch on it. Uh, please provide in the comment below if you know what that figure is called because to be honest, I think that is I I I was a little more excited when I saw that physically, although I didn't buy that because I, as I told you, I am not a poor fan, but. Again, when I saw this, I was really in because, well, it's Mayfax, and then, yeah, I, I, I don't know, maybe, I think you can feel that during my review, little by little, my energy just went a little lower because, to be honest, I was underwhelmed with this figure. So, for me, it's a, it's a pass.